Okay, I'm in, uh, I think the outskirts or east side of Wolf Point, Montana. I like that name, Wolf Point. Uh, and here's the uh, billboard on the left for a dinosaur trail. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I've seen a few of these. Dave Seller would love those places. There's some real finds, I bet, back in the middle of those things. Um, let's see what we got up here. I think this is Wolf Park. Reduced speed. Yeah, Wolf Point. WP. Um, I thought it was going to be nice. Well, it has, it's, it's been nice in Montana, more or less. Big Sky Motel. Um, though it's been rainy off and on too, so, um, pretty much see what I'm talking about. Kind of a mist. It's never really rained that hard, but you would get wet if you stayed out in it very long. And, um, but the sky has continued to brighten off to my left as, and west, uh, and ahead of me. So that'd be ahead of me as west and to my left is south. And, um, fresh air. That's why they call it Big Sky Country, because half of the time um, the land is falling away from you and the sky is making up as much of the landscape as the land does. It's just my theory, but it makes sense to me. And um, as opposed to the opposite side, or the north side of the highway, everything's higher. I think uh, anybody who's been watching this tape sees that you never see uh, distance off to the north or to the right. It's always um, something in the way of Canada. I can't see into Canada yet. I don't know if I ever will. Probably through a river valley maybe or a mountaintop view. Glasgow, uh, Circle Center, City Center. I'm going to Hav, Harvard. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. The lady that I spoke to at the Motel 6 last night, I think she said Hover. She was sort of guessing when I said that I was in uh, Williston, North Dakota, where it was. Price of gas is 382. Uh, I paid 425. No, 405. That's better. Diesel was 425, and this is 415 here. So um, anyway, this seems like a pretty substantial little town. Um, town girl. I don't know if I'm hungry yet or not. Oh, I lost an hour. That was the other thing. When I crossed from North Dakota, it's uh, 1.23 right now. Um, so I had a pretty good breakfast. I'd actually gone to McDonald's last night. I didn't want to mess with uh, the crowds of people in Williston. And um, I did some research and it said everything was kind of overpriced and stuff like that. So I just decided to... Uh, bring some stuff back to the motel room and that worked out pretty good and I'd actually got a couple extra things um, that I've got in the cooler now and I can still warm them up if I got a microwave at my next motel. That's something I've seen more of lately is um, more and more motels are providing both refrigerators and uh, microwaves and uh, of course I'm sure that comes in handy for those construction workers. Okay, Nashua, 35 miles is my next town and um, again you can see the landscape to the north uh, that would lead you to Canada it seems to rise up and uh, we've got a lot of these little knobby hills and then off to my left there's a huge old valley I think I mean I know I'm looking out over the Missouri River uh, but I'm also looking to the west for miles I mean there's some views that I think I was seeing maybe 20, 30, 40 miles. I, I don't really have my eyes adjusted yet to this. So, uh, anyway, we'll uh, talk to you later.